Hi guys, welcome back to Terraria Thoria mod, the healer class let's play. Uh, this is episode 3. Uh, last episode we finally did the Blood Moon. Uh, we got some unholy shards, got this armor and made the uh, bomb cross. And I think that's it. Now, in the meantime, there has been another Blood Moon when I was building this. Uh, the confused zombie actually spawned spawned in but I don't know where he is he might have died actually during the last blood moon which wouldn't be too good yeah I think he died let's see no no he's behind Fred come on Fred move there we go so yeah he spawned in he spawns in after you have defeated patchwork which is a uh, sort of sort of like a mini boss during the um, blood moon and he sells us some weapons now these two are healer items this one we already already had I sold it because it's just a healing pulse it doesn't do any damage and we can't heal ourselves with it so we have no need for it the leech bolt however is like a magic healer class kind of weapon I think it uses hmm, less damage that's not good oh well I think it uses uh, yeah it uses life as well but I think it heals as well let's, let's, oh that was not what I intended to do so yeah it damages us but it heals us as well so as long as we hit we don't lose any I think as long as we hit enemies we don't lose any uh, any health so that's good got a ranged weapon now an actual reliable ranged weapon instead of the pills now I also made this sink because I think we can actually make these unholy shards into where are they purified shards with which we can also do stuff now to make a sword I think it's the hilarity breaker or something we need more uh, platinum bars so we can't use those just yet with the purified shards we can make another armor set which I think is more geared towards really healing your uh, allies instead of doing damage so I guess we'll just keep the Ebon, Ebon armor set for now it also has less defense I think uh, but yeah we can also make this one the cleric's cross it's another weapon I think it's just a boomerang but we'll test it out. Oh, it's mythical as well. Nice. Okay, so it, I can throw multiple. Does it does it take mana? Oh yeah, it uses mana. Okay. Let's see if this one has another ability. No, it uses mana as well. Well, that's cool. I can throw out multiple. I can't aim them, so. They're directional, just the same as the, uh, the palm cross. But that's decent. I think we can also make some bottled water, some bottled purified water. Not sure where we make that. Or we might need to actually get some glass, get some bottles, use a bottle on here. We might need to make it there in a bottle uh, station stuff yeah purified water so I think this is just let's make some of that the blood moon gave us quite a lot of stuff Ooh. okay I can throw it pretty fast okay that's pretty good I guess we can use that on one of the bosses we will be doing today, I hope. So, um, I made the uh, Storm Flare and the Ground Flare Gun for the Grand Thunderbird. And I made the Slime Crown. I think we'll just do the Slime right now. And I'll do it on the... With the cheesy, uh, cheesy technique. I know it's kind of well, yeah, sad to do it this way. But I think we're just too weak otherwise. So let's just do this right now. Hope this is high enough actually. Ok, 
Okay, we can't use those. Ooh, this might not be high enough. This is an awkward place to do this, actually. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Wasn't high enough. Oh, God. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> I should have done that on a different, in a different location because the rope is, yeah, it's just in a stupid place. It might still be there when we spawn, actually. That would be good. Yeah, he's still there. Nice. Oh, here he goes. Let's just try and make him follow us. Back to the rope. We'll just go up higher. And just throw down some pills. So I guess this will take a while. Oh, it goes decently quick actually. But I'll be right back when uh, his hit points are a little bit lower. Alright guys, I'm back. He's almost done for the, the leech bolt actually did quite a lot of damage. Ooh, there we go. It helped quite a bit. But I did most with the, just uh, the pills. As you can see, I started with like 850 or something. So he used about 400, 450, something like that. Let's just finish him off. Nice. Let's not die to do this, actually. Nice. There we go. So let's see what we got from this. Just a solidifier. A slime hook, which I think is worse than the one we have. So let's just place that right there. Uh, shadow diamond. Okay, we can use the shadow diamond for um, for making our magical storage system in a bit. I guess I'll just sell these. So nice, that's one more boss checked off. Uh, okay, I think what we'll do is I'll just clean up my inventory a bit. And, um, yeah, then I'll be right back and we'll do some exploring in some caves. I think I'll actually dig right down here and I'll be back to get back to you once we uh, reach some sort of cave system. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, I was just digging along. I found some place, just a little, little cave system right here. But as you might have been able to see... I just got the message, an evil presence is watching you. Which I think means I of Cthulhu will spawn. <laughs> I think we'll die to it, pretty much. But, nonetheless, I'm going out there. And I'll see if I have enough time to make my... Um, to increase the size of the arena a little bit. Because if anything, that's what we'll need. And we're out of wood as well. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I think it'll spawn in uh, just a second, actually. I should actually look in my chest if I have some... Um, maybe I have some helpful potions. I think I have a iron skin on me. Yeah, that might help. Well, that will help, actually. But yeah, it's a bit... Earlier than I expected, <laughs> actually. So yeah. Oh god, what am I doing? There he comes. So, I haven't actually... Let's activate this, by the way. I'm not sure what I'm going to use. But I guess it's just the pills. So going to lose. We don't even have Hermes boots yet, which are pretty essential for this fight. Because you can sort of outrun it. Let's see. Oh, we can use this one. Oh, God. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, this isn't going too well. It's just too small of an arena. And I can't outrun it because I don't have Hermes boots. Sorry if I'm a bit silent, I'm focusing pretty hard actually. Oh god. Yeah, I think we're done for. Oh. It doesn't do that much damage, so I know that we'll, we'll be, it, we will be able to do it actually eventually. But. Yeah. We don't even have enough damage to one-shot the uh, the little guys. I could cheese it by going to the to the uh, the nurse. But yeah, it feels so cheap <laughs> to actually do that. Second phase, at least something. Oh, go away. Oh. Uh, let's see. But what it. Uh, Remember, this is expert mode, so he will be doing the uh, these faster dashes as well. Oh well, we were close, sort of <laughs> closer than I thought we would be. But yeah, our only directional, like our only weapon we can actually really use to fight it is the uh, leech bolt, and we don't have enough mana yet for it. Because I could have done that a little bit sooner, but yeah. Oh well, at least we didn't use an eye, and a suspicious looking eye for it, so uh, yeah, I guess I'll just go and have a look if I can find another cave system right here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'll just uh, start digging and uh, I'll be back once I find a cave system. Alright guys, we got something right here. I'm not sure how big it is, but... We'll see. Uh, let's just dig this sideways. Do we have some bombs? Yeah, we do have some bombs. I can use those to connect to another cave. There's some part right there as well we can we could use. We could go down if this uh, has no yield. But we'll see. <coughs> yeah, it was a shame we couldn't get the Eye of Cthulhu because we could have gotten demonite then. Oh, there's some topaz right there. We could have gotten demonite then, and I think we can get a sort of new scythe type of we weapon, like our ice ice uh, shaver, uh, which will pretty much increase our damage. So yeah, I'm not sure if that's a healing weapon though. It, I I know it's healing class, but I would like to have one of these, one of these. Uh, which also has a healing effect on myself. But I think that might be a little bit too overpowered, so there might not even be one in-game. But we'll see. You see how little I actually know about the uh, healer class. I just uh, decided to try it and then record it, actually. That's that's most mostly what happened. So, yeah. Oh, God. Please stay away from me, jellyfish. Let's see. So I guess we're close to desert because there's a lot of little sand right around here. Some more copper. Ah, normally don't even take. Copper. But we need it for the pills. Okay, I guess we'll just bomb our way. Three. Right here. Nice. There's some more. Now, what background is this? Is this underground? I think it, this is underground uh, desert. Which c 
could be good. There are a lot of um, hard crystals, I think, in the underground desert. So yeah, we'll see. I would very much like to get some uh, Hermes boots, though. Is there something back here? Yeah, there is. Nice. Okay, it continues. My goal for this uh, cave session is pretty much not dying. Oh. Let's get some platinum, that's nice. We need that for a new weapon. I think we need like 8 bars, and we had 2, so we might be even be close right now. Nothing there. I would like this lead, thank you. Some more amethyst. We do need to find some diamonds actually. I think Vein Miner works on silt blocks as well, so if we don't find any diamonds like out here, we could mine some silt blocks. And you know what? I'm going to. Oh, I thought I had a hunter potion. Oh, I used it in the fight against Cthulhu. Oh well. Um. What was I saying? If you don't find any diamonds right here, I guess I can always use the extractinator we found um, to get them from silt blocks, to extract them from silt blocks. Okay, that's just a normal worm, that's okay. Jesus, look at all these gems. Yep, got them. Even more gems right here. all this before we drop down here let's oh god I think those green particles are one of those earth golems getting ready to throw uh, throw rocks at me but I don't know how he can see me if I can't even see him let's just go right here oh. Now, isn't this underground stuff from the corruption? Some more sapphires, that's nice. Let's kill that bat and let's see. Oh, there's some. Can't quite reach that. There's even more gems right here. Did they increase the gem, uh, gem spawn rate or something? Oh, it's opals. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Well, there goes my. Uh, my one and only goal of not dying this caving session. So I'll be right back. We'll finish it off. Try to get some more uh, hard crystals. And I guess... Uh, I guess we'll end the episode after that. So see you in a bit. Alright guys. We're almost where we died I think. A little bit to go still though. But yeah. Oh, I emptied my inventory. Oh, I got good. I got my piggy bank with me. So if we are full up on uh, items, I can deposit them. That's nice. Oh, I didn't really go up here. Or did I check this? Yeah, oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, I remember this. That's also... Oh, we don't have any wood. So we can't get any more torches. So we need to get them from... Uh, from pots. That's our only, pretty much our only way of getting them. Uh, Alright, we're back. What's this for kind of statue? I don't need that. I think it's a bad statue. I would like to... Ooh, there's some dynamite as well. Look at all these gems, man. It's so satisfying to mine with Vein Miner, though. Normally I don't use it. I've said this in... Uh, earlier episode as well but just for the sake of recording and making it go by a little bit quicker I uh, I opted to use it right now but yeah the sound it makes can be so satisfying Ooh, that was close close call let's get that nice. please some oh god I did it again I would like some torches let's just get rid of that one Ooh, some more gems right here. Let's 
get all of these. Ooh, there, I think that's some life quartz down there. The particles are actually pretty helpful while caving. Um, let's see. Oh, there's some more topaz there as well. It's ridiculous. Oh, or is that opal? I think that's opal. It's ridiculous how much. Oh, I almost forgot some sapphires. How many? Uh, how many gems there are? Like I've never seen this before. It's really ridiculous. Nice some more life parts. We might be able to actually make the. Um, I think it's called the life cleaver or something like that. Which is another, uh, like a broadsword for the healer class. Which would be pretty good. Could use some like that. Although I think this weapon might still be stronger. Because he has the, uh, the sort of frost burn effect. So let's see, let's go right first. See where this leads. Yeah, let's go light right first. We'll see. We'll see where it goes. Oh, there's some... That's Onyx. Onyx is difficult to see, because it's black. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you saw the green particles around me? The Earth Golem down here. If you can see him right there, Earthen Golem. He does that. He, he absolutely destroys you. So let's just stay away from him. Don't w really want to die again. Guy. Ooh, nice! Particles coming in clutch as well. Again. Oop, some more sapphires as well. Let's see, let's just pull my way through to make it go a little bit quicker because I think the episode is running a little bit long as it is. That lava charm provides immunity. Oh god. Let's just not drown, so we'll kill this quickly. Come on. Okay, there we go. Pretty cool uh, cave system. So let's see where this leads. Ooh, nice. That's the platinum we needed, I think. Oh, there's another minecart, more emeralds. Look at all this. Man, oh man. A heart crystal, that's what we came for. So I think that's goal accomplished right now. We'll get the heart crystal. And uh, we'll call this episode right here. Oh, here we go. Letting in some more water, which is annoying. Alright. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, you know what we can do actually, I'll recall and I will make uh, one more new weapon, which I think we can craft right now, get some more platinum bars, nice, um, one sec, what are they, they use this I think, let's see. Um, there, the heret heret Heretic Breaker, 8 go oh, it's gold, but I don't have gold in my world, can't I just, oh man, I thought we could use platinum as well, ah, <sighs> oh well, oh, what's this, some armor as well we can get, well, that's pretty cool. Okay, well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, I'll be back next time with some more bosses. I hope next time we can defeat either the Eater of Worlds or Eye of Cthulhu. The Grand Thunderbird, I was going to do this episode, but I kind of forgot. So we'll do that one next episode. So yeah, see you in the next episode, guys. Please uh, consider liking and subscribing or leaving a comment if you did enjoy the episode. Bye-bye.